Well, fishers, we've got some pretty respectable reports coming through at the moment. And keeping in mind, not too many for the cod scenario and none for the Murray Cray scenario because it is closed season for Murray Cod and closed season for Murray Crays. Um, but the best part about it is, the exciting part about it is, all the Victorian streams are opened up. Trout season's kicked in. Uh, it opens on uh, Saturday, uh, the first weekend in September every year, and it just happens to be before Father's Day. <coughs> so anybody having uh, the weekend off should uh, head down to the Victorian streams and catch plenty of trout. Should be good. Reason behind it is, we've got a lot of uh, good quality water down there at the moment. We've had plenty of rain over the last few weeks. The last week or so has been only very light rain up there, so the streams look in perfect condition. If we don't get any more heavy rain between now and the weekend, it should be some fantastic trout fishing for the opening. Anybody into the stream fishing, this is the time to go and give it a hit. <clears throat> Getting good reports from the Hume Weir. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, not everyone catching fish, but some quality yellow belly coming out of there. And there's also quite a few um, trout still, but you've got to work pretty hard for those. And the odd red fin. Now, there has been a few cod caught off the bank with bait. And don't forget, you must release them straight away. Now, the Hume Weir could turn into a good cod fishery this, this season. So the 1st of December, when it opens up, that may be the place to be. But we will keep you informed with that one. It looks pretty promising. Mawala reports have been pretty slim from down there, I can tell you now. There's the odd fish getting caught, but it's not really spectacular. The Murrumbidgee River, it's not clear, but I notice it's starting to clean up a little bit after the last uh, couple of days. And uh, this rain we had today is may or may not dirty it up, we'll just see what happens. And hopefully it will fire up over the next week or two as far as the yellows go. Old Man Creek will be the same scenario. Blowering Dam, well, we're starting to get some good yellow belly out of there. Uh, off the bank with baits, good, and also trolling. Now, casting little blades and vibes around will certainly be the go at Blowering, without a doubt, and I'm hoping, hoping like you would not believe that the redfin come on this year. There's always a chance they may, you know, because there's been a few up around that sort of 30 and 40 centimetre, 45 centimetre quarter over the last week or so, and they've been chock-a-block full of eggs. So they might be schooling up for breeding. We'll just cross our fingers on that one and hope that that happens, and we can get a decent feed of redfin. <coughs> Excuse the croaky voice this time. Uh, but we have got a fair bit of activity around us. Burrenjuk starting to produce a few yellows at the, at the moment, so it's looking promising. And if you do catch a cod, which you're more than likely going to there, make sure you release it without lifting any of the water if possible. Um, Talbingo, not much activity there. You can be into Tangra, Jindabyne, all fishing extremely well. So as you can see, we've got plenty of activity around us. If you want an in-depth uh, report on Eucambine, Jindabyne and Tantangra, give us a tingle at the shop. But they're flatline trolling them without too much trouble at all. And uh, they're also getting them off the bank of bait. So it looks real promising at the moment. Hopefully the weather will be good this weekend. It's supposed to be. Cross our fingers. This is the Complete English Fishing Report. We'll catch you again next week.